Breaking news tonight. The verdict now in. Music star R. Kelly found guilty in his sex trafficking trial. The stunning fall for the man once known as the king of R&B. The jury finding Kelly guilty on all counts after graphic witness testimony. Prosecutors saying Kelly ran a decades-long ring, recruiting women and underage girls for sex. How long he could be sentenced behind bars. Good evening. For years, he has been dogged by stories of illicit relationships with underage girls. Today, the wheels of justice caught up to those stories and caught up with singer R. Kelly in a Brooklyn courtroom. A jury in his sex trafficking trial finding Kelly guilty of all nine counts. The disgraced R&B superstar described by federal prosecutors as a predator who controlled his young and vulnerable victims through threats and intimidation. But some of those victims turning the tables testified against Kelly and offered vivid detail in the words of one lawyer following today's verdict. Finally, their voices were heard. Stephanie Gosk is in Brooklyn with more on the dramatic outcome and what lies ahead for R. Kelly. It's a verdict prosecutors say it was nearly 30 years in the making. R. Kelly guilty of racketeering and sex trafficking. The man who wrote the Grammy-winning 90s anthem, I Believe I Can Fly, now facing decades behind bars. Today's guilty verdict forever brands R. Kelly as a predator who used his fame and fortune to prey on the young, the vulnerable, and the voiceless. The verdict caps a five-week-long trial with often graphic testimony. Victims described being locked in rooms for days for not following Kelly's rules, like not asking for permission to go to the bathroom or making eye contact with other men. Geronda Pace, who appeared in the docuseries Surviving R. Kelly, was just 16 years old when she said she was abused by the pop star. The breaking point for me was when Rob slapped me and he choked me into a blacked out. The racketeering charge normally used to convict mafia bosses, allowing the government to introduce sexual abuse allegations outside the statute of limitations. At the center of the case, pop star Aaliyah, who died tragically in a plane crash. One witness said she walked in on Kelly and the then 13 or 14-year-old Aaliyah engaged in a sex act. The majority of the victims, young black girls and boys at the time of the abuse. The former assistant district attorney who tried Bill Cosby believes this trial could be a turning point. These were decades worth of tears that these women have been and have been crying. But at least now they are having the opportunity to be heard. They're able to testify and be credibly believed. One in four black girls are sexually abused before age 18. Few go to the authorities. The defense portrayed the accusers in this case as opportunists who wanted money and fame themselves. You saw witness after witnesses giving three, four, five different versions as to what they said happened here. The jury wasn't swayed, deliberating less than nine hours total, guilty on all counts. To the victims in this case, your voices were heard and justice was finally served. Stephanie, R. Kelly has been behind bars for the last couple of years. What happens next for him? Well, Lester, R. Kelly is going to stay behind bars. He has his sentencing hearing on May 4th, where he faces 10 years to life, and then he has multiple upcoming trials on both state and federal charges. Lester? Stephanie Gosk in Brooklyn. Thank you. Now to Montana.